Imagine stepping outside on a clear night and looking up not at a dark sky sprinkled with stars, but at massive shimmering rings stretching across the heavens. These aren't sci-fi effects or alien constructs. They're real colossal and Earth's own. But what would life be like if our planet had rings like Saturn? Let's start with the basics. Saturn's rings are made of billions of tiny particles of ice and rock, orbiting in a flat disk-like formation. If Earth had similar rings, their structure would depend on the mass and composition, but let's say they were similar in size to Saturn's, wide, icy, and dramatically visible. The first and most obvious change would be visual. From the equator, Earth's rings would appear as towering arcs that extend from horizon to horizon. During the day, they'd scatter sunlight and paint luminous halos in the sky. At night, they'd glow, reflecting moonlight or even blocking out stars. In some parts of the world, you'd never see a completely dark sky again. But not everyone would see the same thing. Ring visibility would depend entirely on your latitude. From the poles, the rings would look like a thin glowing line across the sky. But near the equator, they'd dominate, arching high, casting long shadows, even shifting color depending on sunlight angles. Now think about the culture. Throughout history, humans have built myths and religions around celestial events, eclipses, comets, stars. Imagine the sheer impact of daily undeniable massive rings above your head. Ancient civilizations might have seen them as the arms of gods, or as eternal barriers between Earth and the heavens. They would have shaped art, architecture, calendars, and entire belief systems. But rings aren't just beautiful, they're dangerous, their presence would have serious scientific consequences. For starters, Earth's ring system would constantly shower micrometeorites and debris into the upper atmosphere. Most would burn up, but some might reach the surface, increasing meteor showers and perhaps even posing a threat to satellites or aircraft. Modern space travel would be much harder. Rockets might need to launch through carefully timed gaps in the ring plane, or risk destruction from high-speed collisions with ring particles. And satellites? Many would be impossible. The geosynchronous orbit used by communication satellites lies at about 36,000 kilometers above Earth. If the rings were located in that region, they'd either obliterate the satellites or make placing them nearly impossible. Global communication systems, weather tracking, GPS, everything would need a complete redesign. We might never have built the modern internet. There's also the issue of climate. The rings would cast giant shadows on Earth's surface. These shadows wouldn't be static, they'd move with the seasons and orbit, cooling regions beneath them and altering local climates. Some areas might get less sunlight year-round, leading to colder temperatures and disrupted weather systems. Farming zones could shift, entire ecosystems might adapt around ring-induced darkness, and it gets weirder. Depending on the composition and density of the rings, they could affect Earth's rotation and gravitational field. Tidal forces from the rings could pull slightly on our oceans and crust, amplifying or muting natural tides. Coastal cities might face more frequent flooding or droughts. Let's not forget the moon. A massive ring system might not coexist peacefully with our natural satellite. If the rings formed from a shattered moon, they might represent a past catastrophe, or their gravitational influence could destabilize the moon's orbit over millions of years, possibly bringing it closer, or even flinging it away. So where would these rings come from? One theory, a massive asteroid or moon collided with Earth long ago, breaking apart and forming a debris field caught in orbit. If this happened outside the Roche limit, the distance within which a planet's gravity can prevent moon formation, those fragments would never coalesce into a moon, and instead form stable rings, but they wouldn't last forever. Unlike Saturn's rings which are immense and old, Earth's rings would be constantly tugged at by our gravity, the moon's pull, and even solar radiation. Over tens or hundreds of millions of years, they'd either dissipate, fall to Earth as a rain of dust and rock, or form a new moon entirely. Still, for as long as they existed, life on Earth would never be the same. Children would grow up tracing the arcs of the rings with their fingers, artists would paint the skies not blue or black, but marbled with white and gold bands. Scientists would study the rings to learn about Earth's violent past, and perhaps our future. And dreamers would wonder what other planets, with even more spectacular rings might be waiting out there. In a way, Earth with rings reminds us of something powerful. The universe doesn't need to be imagined to be awe-inspiring. But imagine if it was just a little more dramatic. Just a little more like Saturn. 